we are with third place getter at the Geelong Long Course, Anna Cleaver. Great race out there. You were hot in the heels of Moffy out of the water. Uh, how'd you go out onto that bike course? Um, thank you. The bike, no worries. <laughs> the bike was a lot of fun, actually, just playing with Moffy. Um, her being, like messing with her all? No, no, like we obviously ride very differently. So I'd be like a power rider on the flats and then the hills would come and just like boom. And then we just did that all day. Yeah, um, right. So it was a lot of fun. And it's kind of good to have a tussle with her and keeping an eye on who's coming up behind us. <laughs> Now out onto the run, unfortunately um, you're a little bit injured in Auckland so you couldn't, couldn't do the run but how good was it to get out there and have a real crack uh, on the run course today? Um, I was stoked with that run, yeah. um, kind of just been in a big training block so today I just really wanted to have fun and to feel good at the run and see what happened and the whole way it was consistent. Didn't die at all which is good for me because <laughs> usually the wheels fell off in the last few K but um, felt great the whole way so I was never going to be able to run with those two girls so they are monsters. Yeah, I was realistic about that. Um, <laughs> so it was a case of holding third and I was happy to do that because there's some good runners behind me. So, you, I mean, you're obviously a very strong swim biker working on the run, but what are you leading up to this year? It is, it is early in the season and like you say, you're in the middle of base training. Yeah, it's super early for me. Um, my season is more of a US one. Yeah. Um, Abu Dhabi is next up, so being a swim biker, I think that might suit me a little. Yep. Uh, after that, I do want to step up to a longer course, but... Is this an exclusive? <laughs> Maybe, but <laughs> I do have an entry into an Ironman, but um, we'll see when the body's ready. Are you going to tell us what one, or is it all hush-hush? It's not hush-hush. I've just, um, I've entered Melbourne, um, whether the body's ready or not, we'll figure it out soon, but I'm doing the training for it, and yep. we'll see how I go, but I have so much respect for that distance that I don't want to step up to, up to it until I'm totally ready. Um, so in the meantime, there's hy there's Vegas, like it's kind of, there's just so much for us to do right now. Yeah. So. Can I ask you a question about, about stepping up? A lot of people, um, you know, you look at the young girls who are stepping up to say 70.3s yeah. like your yeah, Annabelle Luxfords and then people automatically assume that they're going to jump up to Ironman straight away and I think obviously what you're doing is you're trying to be, um, you know, careful about it and make the right decisions for your body but also are you really looking at longevity in your career as well? Yeah, um, I mean, my career is an interesting one in that it started so long ago in ITU and then I took about 10 years off the sport and sat in an office. Um, and it's always been a really long-term plan. Kona's always been the plan, but way, way out there. So it, it's a stepping stone thing and it's when I'm ready yeah. and it is longevity. I think that you don't want to step up too early, um, especially someone like me, I'm not a runner. So I will get injured if I jump into it too soon. Now before the race you're talking about you really want to approach this year in a really positive, uh, yeah, positive view and clearly this is a great way to really kick it off. What After Abu Dhabi and then maybe Melbourne, wh where are you going to, are you going to be having a bit of a break um, after Melbourne and then revamp things up again and head overseas or are you, are you hoping to stay in Australia, keep training hard and then aim for say Vegas? Um, for me I kind of had a force break last year. Yeah. Um, really bad crash and took me out for a long, long time. So I have kind of feel like I've had my big break, but yeah. I'm sure after either Abu Dhabi, if I do do Melbourne, I'm not sure, you know, there will be a small break, but then it's kind of getting into the US season. There's things like St. Anthony's and US Pro Champs. I'm really keen to get back over there. Yeah. And Hink Happy's over there and I like to go and stay with them and they're pretty cool to hang out with. So yeah. um, now I'm keen to get back over there. It feels like at home, yeah. away from home. Who are you spending time training with at the moment? Um, at the moment, I've been in Sydney. Um, tomorrow, I'm doing the drive from Sydney to Gold Coast. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, I'll be seeing more of Moffy. Yep. And there's a, a whole group of us that are going to be based up there. So, Lizzie Blatchford and a ton of friends. So, that should be good. Those girls know how to run. Just stick with them and you'll be fine. Yeah. Um, I just thought, you know, base myself where the ITU girls are. Maybe it'll rub off on me. But <laughs> up until now, it's just been training by myself, to be honest. So, I'm looking forward to some friends to train with. Good mental training. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, huge congratulations. It's great to see you on the podium this, uh, today and uh, look forward to Abu Dhabi. Thank you.